China crushed 30,000 U.S. troops in Taiwan after Biden abandoned Afghanistan. China today threatened to crush any U.S. troops stationed on Taiwan as it conducts live fire drills in the South China Sea after Joe Biden abandoned Afghanistan. An editorial in the regime-backed Global Times lashed out at a since-deleted tweet by Senator John Corrin, which erroneously stated there were 30,000 American soldiers stated in Taiwan. The bombastic propaganda article said it is equivalent to a military invasion and occupation of the Taiwan province of China. It is an act of declaring war on the People's Republic of China. It is believed that China will immediately put the anti-secession law into use, destroy and expel US troops in Taiwan by military means, and at the same time, realize reunification by force. China conducted naval exercises south of Taiwan on Tuesday in the latest show of strength to the US and its allies which are still reeling from their chaotic retreat from Afghanistan. Although China is the dominant power in East Asia, many of its neighbors like Taiwan and Japan look to the US as their closer military partner. Beijing therefore revels in anything which undermines Washington's credibility. Chinese state media pumped out the images of desperate Afghans flooding Kabul airport in an effort to flee on Monday as a sign of the chaos prompted by the U.S. retreat. On Tuesday, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying said Washington had left an awful mess of unrest, division and broken families in Afghanistan. America's strength and role is destruction, not construction. State media has peddled the idea that America's rush from Afghanistan reflects its fair-weather attitude to all allies, including in Taiwan, which seeks strength from Washington's security guarantee as it defies Beijing. Biden, hammered over the disorderly retreat, had defended the withdrawal, saying China and Russia would love nothing more than his country to have continued to sink resources into the Afghanistan quagmire. But Beijing now perhaps senses any opportunity to seize the impetus in the region with the US licking its wounds over the calamitous foreign policy decision to quit Afghanistan. Warships, anti-submarine aircraft and fighter jets took part in the live fire drills in an undisclosed location of Taiwan on Tuesday. People's Liberation Army spokesman Shi Yi called it a necessary activity in response to the recent situation in the Taiwan Strait. It follows recent passages by US and European military vessels through the disputed waters in the South China Sea. Earlier this month, the Biden administration approved a $750 million arms deal with Taiwan that included 40 M109 self-propelled howitzers 
and 1,700 kits to convert missiles into GPS-guided projectiles. However, Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen said today that the country needed to be stronger and more united in ensuring its own defense following the chaos in Kabul. The sudden departure of U.S. troops has sparked discussion in Taiwan as to whether the U.S. can be relied upon to come to Taipei's defense. Tsai addressed those concerns directly in a Facebook post on Wednesday. Ça permet d'avoir différents véhicules, euh, différentes surprises et différentes méthodes d'emploi.